Oh, you going to chase and you're not getting wings? Yeah. Yo, <laughs> ew, dude. I'm turning it down, man. I'm turning it down. Okay. Only because you you had, you had, you approached me. So I'm awesome. I can't eat right for the rest of the year. I'm getting some. That's right. Some celebration of Joe. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, if I get some, are you, are you gonna you gonna renit? You gonna say no? I can't. I no, can't. hey, go ahead. But then you gonna say, oh man, you couldn't eat right for the whole year? Nah. But y'all got a bet? Nah, ain't no bet. He's claiming he, he hasn't challenged. cheated at all in the diet. I haven't. I don't been, believe that. It's the honor system, man. <laughs> for real, I ain't look, man. If I did, I said, yeah, man, I fucked up. <laughs> Man, you fucked up. <laughs> he ate one of the kids' fruit snacks. No, no. <laughs> yeah. Just one. These are your. These are your. Yeah, that's what he be on. Dress your body. Yeah, your body. Yeah. 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 Eating, do you? Oh, I got the kids at McDonald's. Oh, you've been a hundred percent. I'm being a hundred, dude. For real. If I if I if I fucked up, I would have told you. I'm like, man, I ate a fry. Remember, I told you, it was, it was, I ordered the kids McDonald's. It was hard. Like, man, I wanted to get a fry. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you you didn't eat no fries. I ain't eating bag. no fries. Like, you know how you just grab in the bag, get a couple? I yeah. didn't do that. And that was tempting in the month. Hey, but wasn't it so, uh, like, like um, empowering once you, once you did it? <laughs> nah, I really wanted some. I did too, but you fought it, right? Yeah, I fought that shit. That I shit mean, felt like I a good like million dollars, bro. Fight. <laughs> the, fight, the fight is still going. Yeah, it is. Oh, yeah. It is. It is. Look, man, when Joe said he did it, I'm like, that nigga Joe can do it. I know I can do it. Like, I really have no <laughs> Like, he, he, he gave me the battery pack. Like, I'm like, oh, I bet. Like, I can do this shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. We'll, we'll but even go. Joe has cheated. You've had cheat days. Joe, took, had... Joe went three months, without, two months without doing shit. Two months, no cheating. No, but maybe more. June, yeah, yeah about Damn. June. Yeah, he, man, I'm, we only, I'm only in week three. Come on, man, I can do it. I think I probably What's cheated up? about three, four times. Yeah, so. right. That's about it. Oh, yeah, I, I've been cheating, but I'm just like, I'm right back with it. You know what I'm saying? Like, That's oh, what shit. I do. Nah, but you gotta stop. Right right right. right. So I seen him go to McDonald's. He got, he got, the, <laughs> he got, he got oatmeal, the oatmeal man. joint, Sh- sugar, sugar like oatmeal. The, man, that shit like cinnamon toast crunch. It ain't man. that much sugar in there? It is. Oatmeal, Excuses are tools of confidence. <laughs> 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 man, kick us, Come on, man. Kick us off. Man. <laughs> stop, us off man. Come on. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. I gotta take them off the head. There's only one, and that's me. You understand? Just like we come through, better have your fucking third hour. Bad enough, nigga. I don't want nobody sound like nobody from my clan, man. Keep it real, get your own shit, man, and be original. You can't imitate me on this fucking tape. You ain't ringing the bell. You ain't. I'm ready when you hey, are. Look, man. Sports Life and Hip Hop. <laughs> Yo, once again, you got another episode of Sports Life and Hip Hop. As usual, you got the usual crew with a special guest. Um, he got the one and only <laughs> Zeke, my man Ricky Sweet, and I'm Channel Seven. Anyway, but we got a special return guest, man. The one and only. Uh, so I do the Nori. Uh, nah, but I, 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 <laughs> nah. I'm cool. Hey, Drake Cobbs. Yo, oh, uh, Drake. my nigga. What's been up with you, bro? Man, you know, work. That's <laughs> true. Make so, money, man. Indeed, man. Um, what's it? <clears throat> First of all, I just want to say I'm glad everybody made it here safe. Everybody's families are good. With the riotous. Uh, Streets of going over the WNBA disguise. Um, <laughs> the sky's oh, victorious. Man. It's a madhouse. Like it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a madhouse in the streets oh, right now. Like August, man. Shout out to the sky. Man. They're not forcing oh, it. The news ain't forcing it on us. No, it's Chicago. Yeah, it's Chicago. I get it. It's Chicago. It's, Anything Chicago win? A parade! They have a, they're doing the, they're doing a parade. Man. It's a W. Like they're supposed to. It's they won the title. Of course they're supposed to, but I'm saying like, really? Like they? It's the W. No one's watching the WNBA. You want a parade? No, I'm, it's like I'm saying their motives, their, their motives their motive behind it. They don't really. They're not really. They have to. It's politically correct. 
Wow. But it's not the popularity. What? Oh, it's I not see. like the Bulls one. You know what I'm saying? They, nah, we gave the Bulls one. It's the fifth. It's, it's, a, it's the fifth. What professionals team sport? But if they didn't do this, they they would be getting hella flack. Like no, you support everybody gets a parade. Everyone gets saying, a parade. What are you talking about? That's exactly why they can't not get a parade. They don't why really would they not, not get? Why would they not get a parade? Is there women? Is that what you're gonna say? You want to you want to say no, it? No, because they're not dunking. And then I what? <laughs> that has nothing to do with being women. It's, they're not, they're not, not fast. They're not dunking. They're not. Uh, it's you just did, not that you popular. Didn't watch sport. The game. No, I did watch it. So I ain't in front because it was the finals. It was. It was the. You know, so you were in the WNBA. I'm just saying, as a, as true as true hoop fans and sports fans, yes, we are I, interested in this. Yeah, I acknowledge women hoopers. Yeah, I'm saying because I'm in this. I'm in the sports anyway. Mm-hmm. But I'm saying the popularity is is almost like an arena league football team, like you know what I'm saying. But yeah, they is. have to, they have to throw a party, not based off the popularity, like like if it was the Bears or some shit. You know what I'm saying? They was coming out of arenas though. Yeah, they, yeah. And they, they do have my fucking chance. They do have Kansas Park. They have celebrities there too. Yeah. Is this is this like during the regular season? No. <laughs> no nah, see, man, come on. Man. I'm talking mean, playoffs. I need to watch the playoffs. I'm saying, yeah, but celebrities, yeah. even in the Bulls game, they show out for the playoffs. They don't really be coming in the regular season, like the Bulls, unless, unless it's like Bulls versus Lakers. Or something. The Bulls, the Bulls have the regular sellouts. No, 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 I'm talking about celebrities. Oh, and you yeah. don't really see celebrities until the playoffs. No. Yeah, or, yeah. or unless it's a marquee game. Right, yeah, marquee I. game. I.e. Lakers come in town, you mm-hmm. know. Uh, uh, Kevin Durant come in town. Yeah, that happens. But yeah. they're not coming for Bulls and Kings. Right. Understand the motive behind the, the parade. It's not a bad... What's it's nothing wrong with it. Motive. I just I feel like it's, it's a a gen- I feel an agenda. How? Women's How? sports, women's... You know, so it's the, it's the, <laughs> what? The women's the movement. The alphabet? Huh? <laughs> like, what are you talking about? I'm talking about like the real agenda behind I, the, 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 the real motive behind the city throwing a parade and making it just as big uh, as if it was the Bulls or the Hawks or the Bears. Other than them winning the championship. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody watches the WNBA. Let's keep it fucking real, man. <laughs> It, but if there's a regular season, you just said they didn't sell out. They weren't selling out for us like okay, the playoffs. So are you you comparing this to the Chicago Wolves getting a parade if they won? Well, do they get a parade? No. Yes. If it was the Chicago yeah, Sting, won. remember the Chicago Sting? The yeah. arena. Yeah. You mean the Rush? The Rush. It was, Rush who was the Sting? That was the soccer. Sting. Sting. That was soccer, right? What'd you call it? They won a chip. The Rush. Yeah, they did. Yeah, they didn't even know that. Did they get a Did they get a parade? Yeah, I don't remember. I don't remember. <laughs> they didn't get a parade because they're not popular. WBA is more popular. It than definitely WBA. is, but I mean, I'm, I feel like they, they're really pushing it because you know what I'm saying. It's just this. You know what I'm saying? It's the WE movement, the women's I empowerment. How, how are they pushing it? Which is a good thing. I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just saying. They won fair and square. So, yeah. how are they <laughs> so did the Rush. They won. <laughs> so did the Rush. Is Overall, the Rush But Russia they weren't popular. WBA is popular. WBA but, is popular. Yeah, but yeah. relatively to the to today's, uh, but in, in a relative view, they neither one are popular, you know what I'm saying, amongst the heavy headers. W- I think WBA is it. more popular than it's ever been right now. Uh, yeah, I will say it's at a peak. But I mean, it's almost like, you know, said, I don't know, climbing two, <laughs> two, you, you, two, uh, climbing up three feet on a mountain, like type deal. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. <laughs> but whatever, man. Yeah. I'm, ha- I'm actually happy for the, for the After guy. All that. <laughs> <laughs> no, real talk. I'm happy for him. I'm just saying the the, the city's agenda, like you know, what I'm saying? I, I don't think it's for the actual players. The, you know, what I'm saying the actual sky. Like I say, uh, who's number two, man? With the, with, the, with, the, with the with your move with the with the, copper. With the, the copper, Black copper, Kalia copper, MVP. Yeah. No, Candace is MVP. No, copper guy. Oh, copper. Yeah. 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 All Candace. Oh, okay. Even though she almost had a triple double. was MVP. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> I've never watched as much women's basketball as I have like in the last two years. But it's been yeah, I know. I agree. Decent. I'm I'm getting that, dog. Like I'm real talk. My whole 
the thing on the WNBA was I needed to see some dunking. I needed to be just, you know what I'm saying, better. And it's, like I say, man, Brittany just dunked the other day. No, um, they're just attractive looking chicks as well in the WNBA. Facts. <laughs> There's some, some lookers on there. Man. I ain't think about that. There's I'm so consciously. Yeah, <laughs> some lookers now that hoop. But they hoop, but it's better hooping too, though. It's, it's a higher skill level. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't help that they It's not like the days of Doris Burke hooping. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's way better now. It ain't good that in the Doris Burke hooping. There's no lookers out here, you know. But now, like, boy, you gotta bust your ass in. You look good in the streets. Right, walking off. Yeah, but, yeah, shout out to the the sky. Chicago stand up, you know. You think that's it for Candace? No. No, one more year. I got a question for y'all. Candace Parker, is she the most decorated Chicago Hooper of all time? Meaning from Chicago? From Chicago. Oh, okay. Mm. She got a lot of awards. She got a lot of accolades. She didn't win in college, did she? She won twice. She won. I'm bugging. Yeah, she won twice. Dominated that shit. She was high school. She was a two time player of the year, two time state. They won state twice. They won in college twice. She was like the MOP in college, right. in the game. Then she won two titles in the in WNBA. She then MVP. she got MVP as a rookie, as Damn. well as rookie of the year. Yeah, no. That is didn't she, happen in NBA. Is yeah. she the best? She's the finals MVP? She's the, is she the most decorated yeah. Chicago Hooper of all time? I would Out say. of the Isaiah Thomas's, Quinn Buckner's, uh... I don't know if y'all want to put Kevin Garnett in that uh, category. Yeah, Anthony him. Davis. <laughs> yeah, from here. Anthony Davis, uh, D. Rose. Like, you put Candace Parker against any of them. Mark yeah. McGuire. Mark McGuire. Like, Candace Parker shit mm. is pretty. Probably the only comp is, is Isaiah Thomas. I was saying Quinn Buckner. I think Quinn Buckner. Quinn, yeah. Quinn Buckner is better than Isaiah. He got more accolades, I think. Well, high school and college. Oh, no, high school and college. High school and college. Oh, Quinn Buckner. got two chips, though. Mm. Buckner got Buckner got one though. And he a Hall of Fame. He was in the I think oh, he, he might, he might, he might. He might. It. But Candace, dude, look at that resume. She's obviously a Hall of Fame. Really. She, yeah, yeah, yeah. But look yeah, at her resume. Like, her shit is banging. I would say she's definitely top five. Yeah. She top five in in all of Il- uh, Chicago yeah, Hooper, like, men or women. Definitely yeah. top five. I'm surprised you didn't bring up George Mikan. Like you're a historian. Mm-hmm. You, know, you you would say something like George Mikan. I forgot. Yeah, yeah. It's a good point. But yeah. who else? Think about uh, D Rose. Back to back. Dwayne Wade. Dwayne Wade. Mm. Does he count? Yeah. College, he ain't do nothing. Neither did he do nothing in high school. Oh well, yeah. Which yeah. is an yeah. NBA. This shit yeah, is far crazy. Ways, but yeah. Like Candace from high school to the pros, she won a whole lot. Yeah. yeah. That shit <clears> crazy. <throat> but I, I do. Uh, Quinn Buckner. Iguodala. No. MVP. Zeke, Isaiah Thomas, definitely up there. I can only think of Quinn Buckner, Isaiah, Mark, maybe Mark McGuire. Iggy didn't win it in college, did he? No, he didn't. You won high school, though, Iggy. right? Iggy won in high school? What about um, high school. Think of all what the about Sean Docker? No. No, he, he, he was trash in college. I'm bugging. I'm bugging. Yeah, yeah, I'm, like, not I'm only thinking high school. You gotta like, think Candace dominated too. high school, college, and she dominated. Yeah, yeah she level. dominated every level. Every level, she yeah. got dude. She was a two time player of the year in in high school. Sean Dyer. Oof. Yeah, that was <laughs> <laughs> um, like when you when you think yeah. of like think of the Good boy. first hoopers you think about men wise, you think of the D Roses, Buckner's, Isaiah Thomas. Shit. That's probably your Mount Rushmore and Candace gotta be in it. Yeah. Like her accolades is pretty dope. That was my question to Zeke earlier. Like I oh, okay. wanted to make you think like, dude, that's that's a good. that shit cold, dude. She got a lot of accolades. Dude, a lot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> gold medals too. And, gold and she's an Olympian. Yep. Olympian. Yeah, I think we I think we can uh, go ahead and say yes. <laughs> She's the uh, she the best most decorated. Yeah, I mean shit. She probably under Buckner and Isaiah Thomas. Yeah, look up Buckner and Isaiah. Oh, this is showing this pro shit. 
Is this where we play uh, Rick Astley while we look this? <laughs> <laughs> What the fuck was y'all talking about? This shit was cold, bro. I, I used to fuck with this shit, man. <laughs> hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Quinn Buckner was born in Phoenix. Uh, 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 wait a minute. You moved in this shit? No, no, I say Phoenix, Illinois. I didn't know it was oh, Phoenix. Oh, oh. <laughs> I saw Phoenix. What? I'm like, what the hell? Phoenix. I never heard of that. Oh, you went to Thorn Ridge. Okay. Yeah. Look at his accolades. Yeah, not many. When you get to the pros, it ain't it ain't much. Indiana, he was a hooper. NBA champ, four time All Defense, second team, NCAA champ, mm -hmm. third team All American, two time we first team All Big high school Ten, ones, Mr. Basketball. Mm -hmm. He was Mr. Great basketball. All American. We got two medals. Um, Illinois, Illinois, Illinois. I put it this way: so what Can Candace got definitely got to be top. Top five for real. Yeah. What Thomas Hamilton and then, uh, what was the other Rashad Griffin? What they do? They, they didn't do shit. <laughs> oh yeah, we talking about career, right? They right. I'm, I come this a bit thinking. She done ball from fifteen on. All right. So what's she? How old is she now? Thirty five. Mm -hmm. She done yeah, hoop for probably. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah, that's a good one. Man. Yeah. I, uh, I'm gonna go with yes. <laughs> she definitely in the Mount Rush. She got to be in the Mount Rushmore. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like D Rose. The D Rose won one. You know who was el who else was good high school wise? I think they won back to back. Quentin. I thought D Rose won back to back. The Simeon? They they did win back to back. At Simeon. Was he? I don't think he was Mister Basketball though. Hmm. I'm not sure. You gotta look it up. But, I mean, he had a college career. And then yeah. He did. Right. <laughs> he went to college though. What are you talking about? I never heard of him. <laughs> at Memphis. What school did he go to? Alleged? Oh, he went to Simeon then to Chicago, right? No, he didn't go straight out of high school. He did? No. <laughs> I've never seen him in college. And you can't prove it. I remember seeing you can't, I, you I can't, can't prove it. with John Calipari. I don't remember that. <laughs> don't, don't. They say you, say you, you, know, you know, you, you, you feel me? You know what we're talking about? His, 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 That's, got, that was the... He got erased. He got erased, just like oh, Fat yeah, Five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard, what, what's this Fat Five you speak of? <laughs> I heard it was a group of people that got erased. I don't, I don't, I never, I know, I've never Ross. heard of Chris Webber. They always say he played at Michigan. I've never seen him. <laughs> straight from Michigan to, uh, to the league. No, straight from, where you go to, day, day school, high school? <laughs> straight to the league. Oh, he went straight out of high school. Yeah, yeah, that's what happened. Yeah, that's what happened. NBA coming up. Yeah, NBA yeah. Eve. Yep, tomorrow. Yeah. About to, be move, back. about to win some money, baby. Parlays. Yeah. Yeah. Gambling, baby. Finally back to the regular 82 games. 82 games. Starting uh, October like it's supposed to be. You know, got got the Lakers. Got Kyrie don't want to get uh, vaccinated. He not playing this year so far. But he ain't retiring. But it's not about him getting vaccinated. It's about something else. It's bigger than that. You know, I, I thought he would have been vaccinated by now. I think he's going to actually go to the start of the season like now. Nah, he did? The Bulls are looking I thought he would do it. Because like, well, when you think of the money he's going to lose, I thought he'd be like, all right. All right but this Kyrie, though. It you is know what like, you see I'm ben, still not shocked, but I just thought he would. Right. Well, I mean, you see Ben Simmons folded. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? He started losing checks. All of a he sudden, didn't he fold for vaccination. Yeah, not for vaccination. He right, voted true. for 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 the money. He wasn't yeah, that was, that was for not really. Not really. Not respect. Like, and respect. respect. Like right. he was getting shitted on. <clears throat> right. Um, but you know what I'm saying? So he didn't come back till he started missing checks. Not it. that that was the only reason. Yeah, I'm just saying. That's not his reason. But Kyrie doesn't surprise me though. Like that, he's you know what I'm saying, sticking to his guns harder than Ben Simmons. Yeah, Kyrie <clears throat> definitely standing on it. Mm hmm. So is he playing this year? Y'all think? I say yeah. So you gonna get vaccinated? Mm, he'll be good. No. <laughs> I, mean, right I think something is gonna happen where he'll be able to. I can see that happen. They changed the. Loophole. They changed the arena to a private office building just so he could practice there. 
Wait, 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 wait. What? Because uh, he couldn't practice with the team because the arena was considered like a public area. Like Legal. a public so area. So they went outside, right? No. They cha- they they legally changed the the practice building. They called it a private office facility just so <laughs> he could practice there. Wow. They just changed the name. Of right. The they changed what it was called. Interesting. Wow. Like, no, this just it's a private office. He can go here, but a public place he can't. He can't go. And he was practicing outside. Right. Yeah, and they did that too. Yeah. That's how much power Kyrie got over over the Nets. I mean, when you're a top twenty player in the NBA, top ten player in the world, I guess you yeah. can do some shit like well, that. Well, aside, no, Bradley Beal ain't vaccinated either. Right. Different, nope. uh, different city. Yeah, they got yeah, that's, different that's a, that's a right? state thing. Different it's man. not even an NBA thing. Yeah, it's, it's a crazy. state thing. So New York got it, but DC, I guess you could play mm-hmm. being unvaccinated. Hmm. The rules is crazy too. So he can play. He can't play at home, but he can play. No, they say he can't play at all now. The I league mean, said that, or the mandates. I mean, no, like Brooklyn, the, Brooklyn said that. The next. Oh, okay, right. They say you mm-hmm. can't play at all now. Okay. And Bradley, I'm assuming. If that holds true, then he won't be able to play in New York. So when they play the Knicks on the team, he, no, he can't play. Because he's not a so citizen. Oh, right. That's what I'm saying. He can play. Yeah, so he, he can, can play all play. games. Yep. <laughs> wait, wait. Until, 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 until Washington puts a, a law in, then right. he won't be able to play. Um, That's some state shit. Right now, yeah. a resident So, can't so the, the Wizards, you can be unvaccinated mm-hmm. and come to the Madison yeah. Square Garden. Yeah, yeah. So Washington put that all in. Kyrie can't. Right. Kyrie can't. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Bradley Beal out there like, yeah, right, well, why am I going to get that? That's stupid. <laughs> <laughs> but, but nobody's talking about him. Right. Everybody's no, on Kyrie. Until they, until they put yeah. that law there, they ain't yeah, nothing they can say. He can say what he want. Bulls are, the Bulls are looking good. Mm-hmm. I think they were 4 0 in preseason. Yeah, uh, that's right. Oh, oh, open a uh, lot of. They ain't doing that. Who? Oh. You don't think that? You don't think the Bulls? Are, no, I like it, but I'm in mean, preseason. No. Yeah, you don't put too much stock, but I will I say they do look nice. You mm-hmm. don't. You don't put the wins and losses. You just look at how they play. Yeah, right. That's what I'm looking at. They playing fast. Yeah, yeah they up tempo. Like mm-hmm. which is they look dope for real, for real. Yeah, they ain't gonna be able to stop nobody defensively. But top five in the East. Yeah, they but I don't see them being lower than five. Can't be. Hold on. Top Brooklyn, five. Philly. Boston. You, you think Boston better would be than better? Philly? They better than Boston. I think they're better than Philly. Better than Miami? No. Miami. They're not better than Miami? No. Miami played defense. Uh, yeah, Miami he, he played culture. Hard. We don't have culture. <laughs> right. Well, yeah. Miami got hard nose defense. Like you in the playoffs you're yeah. gonna have to really Scoring. Yeah. They're better than the Knicks. They're better than the Knicks. They're not better than Milwaukee or Brooklyn. No. no. Mm-hmm. Even without Kyrie. That's yeah. the other thing. People still get Brooklyn as the favorite without Kyrie. Man, you got Kevin Durant and James Harden. James Harden, dude. They're two of the best scores in the world. My Bulls, they should be top five. I'm hoping top four, but. Mm, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say they finish with the five seed. So they, I yeah. think Charlotte. They actually better, better than Boston, Boston, right? Charlotte was tenth. They they missed the play. And they think Charlotte's Charlotte. gonna make the playoffs. Philly, we, Brooklyn, Milwaukee, Knicks, Atlanta, Miami, Boston. They should be back in it. But you gotta throw the Bulls in there. Who do you think gonna win MVP this year? I don't think they're going to give it to Giannis again, even if you do play crazy. Right. KD? Could be. Or I mean, could be. Could be AD. I can't. I don't see AD. I don't see AD. Just because of Russell Holmes. Oh, yeah. I don't see him playing oh, yeah. oh, yeah. seven. Yeah, yeah, that too. Injury too. Rudy Gobert? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I think they're going to give it to Joe's boy, Luca. They, they already prepping for it. Yeah, I think they're going to give it. Luca. Luca got a little Luca. Yeah. Not if they garbage as hell, they better not. They not gonna be garbage. Luca, I think it's gonna be Luca and Steph. Because I think Steph gonna go off this year. Mm. Got his boy back. Yeah, I think Steph gonna. <laughs> the other half of the splash. I bro. think Steph gonna. Yeah, I'm through Dallas, duh. 
I'm not. <laughs> he bought, he gonna pass Ray Allen this year too. I think uh, Steph gonna average about 31, 32. He gonna lead the league. He can easily do that. Yeah. His shot. Because Clay ain't Clay not coming back to. They don't even know yet. Oh, he's, they don't know. He ain't starting coming. the season now. Nah. They gonna they gonna treat him with a uh, baby. You probably ain't gonna see him the next year. Yeah. Like January. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Dang, he been gone for two yeah, three, man. Almost, Just two like years. Back to back injuries. Mm-hmm. So MVP, y'all. Uh, I got Steph. Who you got, John? Um, Luca. Honestly, I think uh, either James, either James or KD. Hard. Yeah. One of them. I can't give it to them. Why not? I think they about to go crazy. Well, the thing about the it was the injuries last year. Like they had injury, COVID. You know what I'm saying? If they if they're full strength like we expect, mm-hmm. I think one of them going nuts. You know what I'm saying? You take you take Kyrie out of the mix, so there's more touches, more. You know what I'm saying? More demand to go crazy. You know what I'm saying? Let's see. I think they gonna give it to Luca. That means he is fifth. He is fifth. They is fifth seed last season. That means Dallas will have to finish probably in the top three, right? He was fifth last year. They could do it. Cause. Team got a little bit better. I think Giannis gonna repeat again. They Nothing no, says no Giannis fatigue. From a number. I mean, I I kind of think they giving the lead to him. LeBron getting older. Not Luca. Both of them, really. Both of them. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. The new faces. But, but they, they, it's point. I, Giannis is becoming the face of the league. Yeah. Giannis, yeah, definitely. They ain't turned on him. They, he's well liked. Right. <laughs> yeah. 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 I don't know. Who was that? Let's see, Luca, though. He's one. Hmm. You mean open night? Yeah. Open night? Tomorrow is, uh, Bucks and Nets and Lakers and Warriors. You know what? I kind of want to do a segment where Isaiah gives, Zeke gives his uh, parlay tips. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you, you're, you're, you're a... No, you're a I'm not. Whatever you're about to say, I'm not. <laughs> what do you mean? I come to you for my parlays. And I, how often do I win? Not you, much. You win, you win some decent money. I would have won that one last year. That would have been some decent money. I think you're going to win this year. Oh, yeah. I hope I, hope I do, too. No, I, I, you're going to win money. It's just a matter of oh, well, how yeah. much. I, I, need, I need some a $50 bet to give me about $10,000, 20000 Don't you yeah. hate though, that, that, that shit on, on, the, on the gram and social media where they be like, oh, man, this guy, if, if, if the Bucks win, this guy could win 75000 all he, all he bet was three dollars. Yeah, like uh, it was a, a thirty leg parlay. <laughs> <laughs> Man, he he bet that Tom Brady would throw three touchdowns and and one interception, and he did it all with one dollar. <laughs> like what? <laughs> he got the exact score right. I wanna I wanna be that person. Man, like I'm betting. Story. Should he should he cash out? Right, right. The cash out being like eight grand. <laughs> Man. And for the gram, man, social media, man. So social media. You gotta have a skill for that though, because there's people that do that to like. They go, it's a li- they that's li- they, yeah, that's their job. Yeah, that's their job. I want that. I think I could do it. I think over time, you, if you actually think about sit it, down and dedicate yourself, you could probably figure it out and mm-hmm. at least be break even, probably. Hmm. Or win a little more than you lose. I mean, this dude making money, money out this Yeah. Like, more, like you, you heard about, what's his name? Uh, the, the Mr. Better or whatever, that old white dude. Forgot his name. I'm butchering his name. But mm-hmm. he bet, like, if the Astros win the World Series, he get, like, $3 million, which is the biggest bet of all time. Mm-hmm. But what did he put on it? I think, like, $100,000. Yeah. Sure. Mm-hmm. I, 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 really I, like I think I'm guys. wrong. Like, the numbers are wrong, but he bet the Astros to win. I don't like the World Series. This dude bet three hundred thousand to win one hundred and fifty thousand. That's a, that's one of your grinder gears. Yeah. Why? Right. If you got that much money to throw, you don't even need the money. <laughs> right, right. Like, yeah. Joe, you're not a better, right? 
I'm slowly becoming one, but no. In general, no. Although you're going to Cincy. <laughs> right. I mean, like I said, I'm slowly becoming one. Yeah, it's probably, it's, probably ramp up when you get Yeah, there. it's going to be in your face. Like, I mean, like like them parlays and shit. You know, I never, you know what I'm saying, really did that shit. But I recently uh, did one where um, you picked like eight favorites or something and they all got a hit. Right. You know what I'm saying? So they all got to win. No upsets, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, parlay, you get one wrong. So, so the parlay, you know what's crazy? That's a parlay? That's called a parlay? You can do it in any, you know what's crazy with the gambling game? is crazy. You can bet on anything, whether it be like rebounds, mm-hmm. points, you can bet all that. And here's the kicker. Here's, here's a funny thing if you ever start. Mm-hmm. You could say, you know what, I'm going to bet Giannis get a double-double. Now Giannis, <laughs> nine times out of ten, we all know Giannis gets 20 point, 25 points. 13 rebounds. Yep. The night you bet that, of course. the parlay, he'll get like eight rebounds. Yep. <laughs> or he'll get injured. He'll tweak an ankle in the first quarter. So be careful with that shit. Mm-hmm. So but isn't that, part, isn't that part of the thrill? Like, nah. Yeah, isn't that, that supposed that, to be? You know what that, that's to pull your hair out. <laughs> no, I know Steph can hit three threes. Man, he just happened to be off that day. Right. I know I know Steph right. can get 30 points. He, he gets, he like gets 18. <laughs> <laughs> He'd be like, what? <laughs> Any other night, this motherfucker would go off. Tonight, he, they sit him down in the second quarter. So, yeah, it's a lot Much of shit. Fuck. Shit involved. What y'all think about, uh, y'all, y'all try to check out the uh, Dave Chappelle joint? Yeah. You, yeah. you fuck with it? Yeah. What you think? Yeah. I thought it was like, bad. first of all, I thought it was better than his last one. Yeah, Which, it was The last, last one was whack, though. Yeah, it was just, This was better, though. Yeah, I think I was, Zeke didn't like it at first. I, w- I was wasn't really paying attention. I watched it like thirty minutes off and on. I went back and watched it. It was it was great. I, I mean, but he's at the point now where I'm not really dying laughing at because he's more of a informant. Yeah, he's telling stories more now. He's not really yeah. so much jokes. Mm-hmm. Like he's throwing jokes in there, here and there. It's tied up in a story type. Yeah, yeah, but it's a I good, don't, very good storytelling. Yeah. yeah, he I'm, knows how to captivate a crowd. I'm not getting the Parties. all the hate he's getting. The people trying to walk out and protest. Yeah, I don't understand that. It wasn't. It wasn't that. It, it's just a little too much. Yeah. On every on every um everything that I see, like uh, like like any any protest, any angst towards him, it's always you know what I'm saying. It started off. It's always started off by giving him this crazy amount of praise, like. <laughs> The guy's unbelievable. He's a great stand-up, and I really like the show. And then they start off, and then they yeah, say, yeah. well, at the end of the day, you like the show. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, so that tells me, like, it's all bullshit. It's cancel culture. It's people um, going in watching it that's already, that they, they're not even fans of them. They're predetermined. Yeah, they, gonna go, they go in looking for, okay, what can I, what can I get them on this time? Right. The thing I don't understand is, is that... He said that he don't he doesn't hate anybody. Exactly. He was well, saying that no, he said he don't hate. He said, said he people. against the white people. Yeah, um, yeah. He's always he's, 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 he's always been, he's always been, yeah. He's right. always said that he don't like white people, but he's against the white people. But he also said like I don't hate the alphabet community. Right. And he even elaborate on his story and uh-huh. he just said like he even in, he said man I envy y'all y'all got a movement that we can't even do <laughs> right, exactly. black and we can't can, black people we can't even do you know yeah. what I'm saying so that they get respected we don't mm-hmm. which is fucked up but it's neither here nor there but he's giving them props he's giving them props so I don't know <laughs> and art you know comedy is art man like that shit right, it that's used the, to be right now yeah. you can't say shit facts Right, you could draw some titties, and then and it's seen in a certain way. You know what I'm saying? It's art. You know what I'm saying? You can't tell you a joke. You know what I'm saying? That might test the limits of uh, push the envelope. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Well, you like you say, it used to be like yeah. It's like you can't even tell a joke. You can make you used to be able to make fun of anything. You can't take a joke. Uh. A lot of people are sensitive these days, man. The sensitivity level is at a high rate in America. Mm-hmm. Period. Definitely. You look at something like in Living Color, they was making fun of handicapped people. You can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> you can't do that now, man. Yeah. 
But they was making fun of everybody. They was making fun of black people, white people. It gay was understood. People. You know what I'm saying? Can't do that now. Uh. And and then it all came full circle with the John Gruden thing. Yeah. <laughs> Wow, very good. Yeah, hell of a, hell of a second. Because he said that, the, uh, what's his name? What's the DeMore guy coming? Smith. DeMore, DeMore Smith. Smith said he had the Michelin lips. <laughs> that was okay. But then he talked about the the, the alphabet community and said dude was a, the F word. Yep, man. All right, yeah, we got to get you out of here now, man. Because he, he was coaching the Bears. <laughs> he was coaching that game when he said DeMore Smith had the Michelin lips. Yep. He was okay. And he said, why is that okay? That yeah, was okay. They, they was only talking about. Oh, you mean okay, right? No. I thought you mean to you. Okay. No, 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 no. No, toward toward the NFL. There was no talk no, about firing. No him. talk about firing him. Mm-hmm. Once he said the the f word about John. Uh, that was the issue. Goodell. Then it was like, all right, all right. you gotta walk down, son. Got out of here quick. Man, who he say? Who? He, what he say about? Uh, was it was it Obama? Or so? Who? There's someone in the um, in the White House he talked about too. Uh, I'm not. I know Demore Smith. He said. Oh uh, yeah. What? He's talking about Goodell. Yeah, oh, he's so, talking about uh, women referees too. Yeah, mm-hmm. he went and, in. And, uh, he's, uh, Michael uh, Sam. Michael Sam. Yeah. yeah, he's like, why, why you draft that F? You know what I'm saying? Like, so hold up, hold up. So he this women, black people, gay, uh, gay, or transsexual, oh, mm-hmm. politics. Whip and the and the fucking owner of the NFL, the the commissioner he of the NFL. Went, but he said the black uh, Demora Smith was a black man. He talked about him first. That right. was released on Wednesday or Thursday before mm-hmm. his game on Sunday. Right. He was able to coach on Sunday. <laughs> Monday they found out more shit, and then the owner was like, "Hey man, you know what I'm saying? Like it was looking kind of hot in here." <laughs> 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 <Right>. <laughs> You might have to take a step down. So if he would have said, said what he if said it was about the Blacks, I, first. I, would, oh, I think he'd do it. If, it was, if, it was, if he would have just kept at the Morris Smith, he would have had a job. Yeah. Oh, yeah, for he sure. He would have had a job. He would have had a job. They said they had like over 600,000 right. more emails that they went through, and they didn't find anything else like that. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Right. But then as soon as you can't, as soon as you saw the, 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 the F word towards Goodell, out of here. You out of there, man. And it was Monday. You know what I'm saying? He had just coached the day before. It was all right. It was all good just a week ago. Now he out of a job. Well, so he, he's well, done, right? Yeah, he, nah, he, he ain't canceled. working in the NFL. He ain't working in the NFL at like, all. Oh, he, he, he might not get a high school. Oh, that was the other thing. They were he, saying he, he shouldn't get. That was the thing. They said he shouldn't get in trouble for the. The Morris Smith thing because he wasn't working for the league when that happened. Oh, he's okay. working for ESPN. Oh, okay. Right. <laughs> Doing all the emails, he was working for ESPN, right? You know, yeah, because yeah, from a couple years. You know ago, what's yeah. even grimier is that like he put that out knowing the motherfuckers gonna read. That's a professional right. email. Like that's not like CC. No, yeah, you know what I'm saying. That's like that wasn't a text. That wasn't a text. <laughs> right. Like to me, you know, to us, you know, what I'm saying bouncing mm-hmm. off. That was a professional email he sent. Right. Like, how broader can you be? So you know you say that shit all the time. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And that's what, you know, that's what white privilege come into. Like, dude, we would never think of put some shit like that in an email where motherfuckers, at, especially at work, can read that can't shit. Can't do that. Mm-hmm. You can't do that. But <clears throat> Anglo-Saxons, they're a different breed. They... And that's, that's another thing I heard, too. Like, he didn't even say in the email, like, Hey, don't don't tell nobody. Don't nah. repeat none of this. He just said it. Yeah. <laughs> that's brawling. That's brawling behavior. He didn't say, yo, hey, keep this on the low. Nah, man. that's brawling behavior. I'm tell you this, but don't nah. say nothing to nobody. I'm gonna be like, yo. This then he tried to say, nah, I just that's a, that's what I call people who are liars. They have they have yeah. rubber lips. He said, why you <laughs> he said, hold on, B. He said he called people that are liars rubber lips. Yes, and that's why he said. Smith had the lips the size of Michelin <laughs> Hey man What do you take out for a joke? <laughs> man called McCoy he said why you drive Michael Sam that that F word. I think he called him he called him a queer. Oh yeah yeah he called him a Q. He killed everybody. He, he you know what I'm saying? He came at everybody like That's cool. And- That's not cool. No, That's I'm not saying no, 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 let no, me say, I'm not yeah. saying that he, he said that everybody meaning it's okay for him to say blacks. I'm just saying mm-hmm. 
His career had no chance. He had <laughs> no, he killed, he, he had he a killed ch- everybody. He, he had a chance. Every base. He had a chance if he had left it at Demora Smith. Yeah, yeah, he had a shot. Crazy. But I'm saying he, he killed that, but he didn't. He killed everybody. Yeah, it was, was just Demora like, Smith. But that's the point I'm making. If it was just Demora, think about how that sounds. No, if it was just up. Demora Smith. Well, that means we have no it, value. It, it, yeah, he would have just got suspended for it. Yeah. You might have lost a Maybe. check. Maybe. But once he started going to the, the alphabet community, yeah. they, they canceled his ass. Get out of here. If he would have said the alphabet community first, they would have canceled. He wouldn't have, he wouldn't have coached Sunday. Nah, right. Right. He no wouldn't way. have made it to Sunday. Mm-hmm. Which he is must great. still have a job because right now he can't, he can't coach mm-hmm. with anybody black. Which is crazy. Black team. Which is crazy. That's the thing that got me kind of like, wow. That's how I know the NFL bogus. Yeah. Well, speaking, they, speaking of other ESPN workers, mm, Sage Steele. Mm. Yeah. Go ahead, speak on it. Oh, uh, Sage Steele uh, had a podcast with Jay Cutler. I don't know and who knew Jay podcast. Cutler as a put- I, I, didn't know. I didn't know Jay Cutler was even. I, I always known him as, as being abrasive toward the media. <laughs> right. And, you know, he's well, a now he is the media. Very short. Yeah, Kurt. now he's the media. Now he's the media. But <laughs> he interviewed Sage Steele. Him, Sage Steele came on. And I'm paraphrasing, and Sage still basically was talking about how well, she don't know why Obama claimed black because his daddy wasn't around. Yeah. She said this. So, <laughs> <laughs> by the way, Sage still, if you don't know, is also biracial, but I think she's, what's the black girl that you say that's, that's uh, pro, pro-Republican? Candace Owens? Yeah. Candace Owens. Okay. So Sage still is like the Candace Owens. Yeah. Of, of yes, sport. And he and brought that up too on the pod. He's like, yo, they call you the Candace Owens of ESPN. Yeah. So, so she, I, I respect her. So she basically, this, this is like a third occurrence when she says something kind of, kind of. Yeah, fishy. she went off, she went overboard on this. Yeah, everybody. like she kind of downed black dads in a way where mm-hmm. it's like, well, why are you accepting black? Because your dad wasn't. And bless you. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Sorry. <laughs> so, but, <laughs> um, but basically, like shitting on Obama because he wanted to, you know, check the box. Yeah, black. you ask Obama what he is, he gonna say black. He gonna say black. You Who ask wrote? Sage Steele, she, she gonna, gonna say, say white. Bi- she probably say it's biracial. Biracial. But you know, not only did she put put us down, but she also put herself. You know how stupid you sound saying that. <laughs> like, she she what are you, Sage? I'm biracial. Oh, so you're black. No, no, I'm biracial. She's going to make sure to correct you right. if you call her black. Right, exactly. Right. Even though she looks... Right. She a identifies as black. black. Like, like a fair-skinned black woman. Yeah. Sage Steele is a... a self Let him have it. <laughs> lost woman, period. Just she lost, bro. Yeah, she yeah. definitely lost. Just like Candace Owen. And her background is... Uh, like she's an army brat. Like I think she and her father was around, right? Yeah, her right. father was around. So I, I don't know. Man. Her father was around. I think she, she kind of disrespected him by even saying this. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah. And, and that and, and a Big lot. Of, and yes. if you read some of the yeah. the comments, they'll say, "Why are you guys getting on stage still? And it's not that big of a deal." But like, cause she identifies with with being white, but it's not about that. She she didn't have to go. And say Barack Obama dad yeah, was around. Like that's that's, that's, that's excessive. Mm-hmm. You could have just left it. She don't know how he was raised. Yeah, she don't know. Right. You know what I'm saying? So she's like, why is he identifying as black? He was raised by his white mom, and his, his dad was nowhere to be found. Yeah, that was kind of that's kind of coloring outside the line right there. Like, and she also said, uh, um, if a woman dresses in tight clothing, uh, yeah. she deserves you know what I'm saying the heckles and. Yeah, she said that too. Well, she's like, I'm not saying she deserves it, but. Right, 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 right. Anytime right. <laughs> you say that. Right, right, exactly. You know what you're doing when you dress man. that way. You can't say that, man. She needs to read the temperature of the room. Even if you feel like that, you don't say no shit like that. In this she said all that with a smile. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it was okay. Yeah. Like, I told, like, like I told you, like, she was auditioning. Like, I definitely see her, you know what I'm saying, getting a. a, 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 a a spicy talk show on Fox. Uh, uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, she was auditioning. And letting, we're on your side. I'm on your side. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Controversial. 
And to say that around Jay Cutler of all people. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, he's a piece of Why shit. Why are they so comfortable? Why are you so comfortable Jay saying Cutler. that? It's exactly, just that we right. are we already get a bad rap as as fathers, black dads and all that. Black people period. So for you know, you don't need someone even as biracial to go that route and to even down you, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like you already got enough, you know what I'm saying, negatives against you. You already got enough, you know, swords going at you. So that's the thing, man. Like people don't like you just because you can't say no, say no words. They cannot like you just because of your skin, which is crazy. No. Which is crazy. So for you to, you know what I'm saying, just genuinely genuinely put that out there. You know what I'm saying? It's a young person that's watching that and like, oh yeah, that's that sounds about right. So they're gonna feed into that. So, no. I think she's married to a white guy. Yeah, she, she is. is. Yeah, yeah, she is. Yeah. So is she gonna lose her job? They pulled she her. She pulled her. They pulled her. They suspended her. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they didn't. Cancer. And she was talking about the, uh, the Jabberini too. The who? The, the Jabberini. She was saying ESPN was bogus for mandating. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. 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 Oh. She was mm-hmm. like, yo, I, she was like, yo, I didn't want to get this shit. They made me. Right. <laughs> <laughs> On the podcast. I'm telling you, man, that's what you do. ESPN is kind of they kind of funky with the shit. They're racist. Yeah, man, very, very racist. Been, like, <laughs> it, it, now you want to talk about people that do so? You talk about people that doing shit like the sky they doing shit for cloud or motives and motives and all that. ESPN does shit for motives. Like it's um, not, yeah. it's not authentic at all. Like, you know what I'm saying? When it was Black Lives Matter, they was all pumping that out. But like, you can't really speak on that shit if you on ESPN. No, I mean, look who they own. Or I know. You know what I'm saying? They they promote uh, they promote uh, uh, equality and race and you know what I'm saying? Gay. You know what I'm saying? Walt mm-hmm. Disney hated niggas. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What you got? The, what was, which one was that? The great great granddaughter said uh, uh, when Kobe died. Um, let's just be honest. He was a rape. Let's let's, Rachel? Oh, let's not act like he Rachel? wasn't a rapist. Rachel? Who? Who? Kobe? Nah, from uh, the, the one of the great great granddaughters. The uh, uh, owners of Rachel Walt Disney. Oh, yeah, yeah, right, right, right. right. She said this shit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you know what I'm saying? She was like, let's be honest, he's still a rapist. You know what I'm saying? She dis- is her last name Disney? Yeah. Wow. Why would you lose that name? Right. You yeah. married. You might as well keep yeah. it. So it was like, you know what I'm saying? You're like, getting that question wherever you go. Are you related to Walt? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. Ain't nobody else. Yeah, yeah, nobody true. <laughs> So I mean, yeah. So I'm not like I say. I damn mean, right, yes, Bill. Just, right. just look who they hire: Sage Steele, Stephen A. Smith, <laughs> Molly Karam. You know what? I don't have a problem. Stephen with Molly Stephen A. Hey. Do you hey, think Molly low key be dissing black motherfuckers, dude? Like low key, mm. she had an underlying comedy, just like with Stephen Kyrie. Like Even Stephon Marbury. When Stephen A. did his whole little jig on Stephon Marbury, she had to chime in and try to put a whole feminist movement on yeah, Stephon Marbury. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are you yeah, even yeah. saying? Do you even know this guy? He didn't even say shit about you. Mm. Molly Karam too, bro. Like, man, this is... No, just... Sarah Spain. Yeah, yeah, yeah she do it too. Uh, yeah. Sarah Spain real quick to like mm-hmm. flip it to the feminist movement. You be like, dude... <laughs> like, y'all... Like, they always make it... Anyway. She said some shit about Kobe too when he died. Sarah Spain? Yeah, I can see that. She's like, yo, you know, sad that Kobe she threw it, but but let's not forget about what happened. Oh yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, she just gotta throw it in. Mm -hmm. Let's not forget what he did here. Like at a time like this, she just had to bring it up. The the statement they always say, he was no angel. (laughs) (laughs) That's how they that's how they try to conceal it. So so when Rachel Nichols said what she said, what did y'all feel about that? Because she said the same thing. Even though Kobe wasn't charged with anything? (laughs) <laughs> yeah, really? They they skip over that point. Yeah. Right? Yeah. It's, not, it's not gonna mention that. They don't mention that. Yeah. Yeah. Really, you meet the fucking case. Mm-hmm. I'm innocent. <laughs> <laughs> found all type of nothing in her ass. Man. It was like remember they found like two different uh, yeah. spe- uh, semen yeah. samples. Cause somebody else melted before she went to Kobe. <laughs> right. So, I mean, Kobe nasty. Right. Kobe nasty as hell. <laughs> he hit the shit wrong. <laughs> Ah, he nothing in the piss room. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, we don't know what he did, man. <laughs> hey, fuck that <laughs> <laughs> Hey, but anyway. <laughs>
know what I'm saying? But yeah, man. Um, Ice Cube said Kobe didn't do it. He did? Yeah, on that uh, Lil Jon song. Nah. <laughs> he wasn't charged. I didn't hear it. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's what you go by. He wasn't charged. Right. Yeah. I mean, that, why Wait, did he admit it? I think he admitted it though, right? No, he didn't admit it. But it wasn't rape. It wasn't. Oh, right, right. He said it was consensual. Consensual. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he didn't do it. Yeah. Because yeah. Shorty went knocking on his room. Come on, yeah. out of all the rooms, you go knock on Kobe <laughs> Brown. Right. You don't know who it is? She got, she got what? She you know what? You're right. I'm going to go upstairs to door number 204. Right. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, yeah. You know exactly, exactly what's right. Uh, let's, let's stop it now. <laughs> These movements are crazy. I mean, yeah, I agree, though. Like, um, they take topic. They take. They, it's messages. like they want to take the shine away from you. Shine oh, on your own shit. Like they, they, to be gone. Like if if we going through something as blacks, minorities, blacks and Puerto Ricans and Mexicans, mm-hmm. all minorities. If we going through something, it's like someone else has to step in. Like with the Black Lives Matter, BLM. Then they stepped in with the Nah, you gotta put transgenders and mm-hmm. black transgenders. All black lives. Mm-hmm. All black lives. And it was like, yo, like, so it's like. They always want to take the shine away. You know what I'm saying? They don't never want to like be it. Yeah, it can't be just us. It can't just be us. Sure. Like, cause then the, and I'm not against what women's rights. I don't think I think women should get paid just as much as we do. I think they should get jobs or what have you. But like, if there's anything going wrong with us as 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 a race, then they'll step in. Someone will step in and say, "Yo, what about this?" And then they'll take it away. Sure. So, but to your point, um, I was I was gonna say too, like they take issues that are really important and have some substance to it, and they just take it and make it a, you know what I'm saying? Like I, I agree uh, with everybody. Um, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, in theory, I agree with the we movement. You know what I'm saying? Like women should be treated equally, but yeah. they take it and make it a movement, yeah. and it becomes yeah. like you know what I'm saying? Like. <clears throat> Like the, the ulterior motives behind it, you know what I'm saying, totally leaves the, the that's, innocence. That's, that's the Chicago sky <laughs> ulterior motive that you're talking about. That's the motive where. Yeah, exactly. That's, 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 that's what I'm that, talking, talking about. Like, yeah. The sky is an ulterior motive. To touch on what Rick was saying earlier about the whole black father thing, though, the media likes to promote like black men don't like to take care of their children. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's, yeah. yeah that's bullshit. Man, right. all the time. You know, I'm around three good fathers <laughs> right here. Oh. <laughs> you know, well, yeah, cool myself. But you know what I'm saying? Like, all I've seen was black men take care of their children, bro. So I don't know where they're getting this thing that black men don't like to be around their kids. Um, I think every race has a, uh, you know, a dude that really don't want to fuck with their kids. Oh, yeah. Right. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Especially rich white men. They really don't want to fuck with their kids. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> up, yeah. Yeah. They can afford yeah. not to fuck with their kids. They can afford not to fuck with their kids. I think, I think you know. I think things like that need to change on the way they view us and the way they put us out because, you know, we the hot topics in the media. Every day, always in our neighborhoods when shit, shit go down, mm-hmm. they're in the black neighborhoods. They never show what happens in the white neighborhoods. Right. And, it's, and it's all, it's us, 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 us. Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I agree. Shit, that's how we, that's how we know how to be good fathers. You know what I'm saying? Because we've been around, you know, good fathers. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's two generations of good fathers. What, what, are, what are you showing? Right. What are you, you know what I'm saying, Yeah, that media is a motherfucker. Man, bro, real talk. Speaking of images of black men, y'all been watching BMF? <laughs> 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 I'm, I'm still on the first episode. <laughs> I've been oh, watching. Man. You've been watching? Yes. It? I'm, I'm, God damn it. Man. You? I've been, I'm on episode three. What the fuck? And we can't even talk about... Well, we can talk about no, it. No, we're not. No, 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 like, just like I, I haven't seen Squid Games. I haven't watched that. Me either. Oh, you gotta watch that, man. You seen it? No. Dotson was telling me about it. I, you know. I don't know. Yeah. Dotson, <laughs> like, Dotson likes that. He yeah. likes him. He is. Shout he out to Dotson, man. Yeah. <laughs> big, big shout out. Um. I, I mean, um, you know what? <laughs> yeah. Yo, you can you could go over it and we'll say this, and I know you saw this in the first episode, Z. 
the acting isn't as great, but the storyline is, is... It's a true story. That's why I'm intrigued. So intrigued. Right. It ain't all true. They gonna spite. They gonna... Oh, they, yeah. It says in the beginning some of this shit might be like... Yeah, oh, true. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they gotta hide some of it. Yeah, they gotta hide some shit. Of but the, you know, but the acting overall, some of it's kind of bad. Yeah, the story is. I, I like Wood Harris's character though, dude. That I do too. Like funny as it's Who? funny but grimy but at the same time. Grimy, you know, bro. Wood uh, Harris yeah. character. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, your dad. Oh, <laughs> oh, <right. laughs> yeah. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, are, we are not related. Yeah, y'all are, man. Mota, you. That's you. Mota. <laughs> he from Chicago too, right? Yeah, get yeah, the yeah. back. Mota, do work. His brother in it too. His brother's in the series, so he's the cop. All right, yeah, 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 Minister Society, he was, oh, let me see, he was, uh... Dude who got stomped out? Yeah, the Minnesota. dude who got yeah. like Oh, yeah, I know. Oh, <laughs> I know. Uh, 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 uh. He was just in, uh, what's the show? Snowfall, as you talking about. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Andre Bond. Yeah, 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 yeah. He looked like D-Rose to me. Oh, yeah, he looked like D-Rose too, so. But, yeah, 50 making money, dude. He's must see. He, he, he must see TV, and he doesn't even have. He just has to be attached to it. Yeah, like, yeah. you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like he's he, he, he keeping it rolling because uh, book got, two yeah, coming, book two dude, coming next out. month. Shit. Yeah. Then Tommy coming. His story. He can just keep rolling these out. He got yeah. another. And five now we got years. season yeah. two. We got season two for this. For BMF. BMF. Yeah, yeah, already. It's already. Yeah. Yeah. I'm Fifty. <laughs> Fifty ain't coming back to music, man. I'm Although uh, Raising Canaan's opening uh, the song was dope. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he, yeah, killed, yeah, 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 he killed yeah, yeah. that one. Yeah. 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 Two for two. As far as albums, uh, no, nah, nah. 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 I was That's, holding out hope, but. You'll never hear another Get Rich or Die trying out of him. No, no. We didn't hear one after that. That ain't going to be an yeah, album, period. Yeah. Yeah. I kind of thought he would, but. Speaking of 50, did uh, y'all hear about uh, Dre saying he got like 150 uh, songs? I did hear that. He 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 gonna drop or something. Yeah. Like, but it's Dr. not the chronic though, right? Yeah, Doctor Dre. He said he got like a hundred fifty. I'll wait to ask you. But Man. he's not releasing it as the chronic or nothing. It's just he said like, he's just gonna release them. He bro. said he gonna, it's gonna be like a five That's, CD shit. Oh yeah, all right. That's what he said. I, you know. Did you hear him say it? Yeah, it's in, it's in print. I believe it. Was. I saw. Yeah, I believe. I saw that. Yeah. He, he didn't say when though, right? Didn't say that's <laughs> like he we got a whole aftermath. It's like they supposed to be rolling out. Yeah, Dre, Kendrick, and yeah. uh, some well. Oh, oh yeah, right. They got three out of well. Huh? That's for right. they doing the Super Bowl. Maybe uh, maybe you will drop. It. He ain't drop one hundred fifty. He finna do you doing the Super Bowl? Or maybe just some new. Yeah, music Snoop, in general. Snoop was a part of that too. Mm-hmm. He's supposed to have an album coming out with uh, Doctor Dre. You know how much yeah, shit. It could all be part of the Super Bowl rollout. You know how much shit he got in the vault, man? Yeah, it's way more than 150. Bro. Uh, that's all, man. Hmm. What else we got on the docket, man? I done got hungry, got me some motherfucking honey dope. <laughs> <laughs> what else we got? Um, bottom, bottom tier fruit, by the way. Wow. It's bottom tier? You don't like a, you don't like a honey dope? Top, what's your top two? Not you also fair. don't like carrots, dude. Yeah. Disgusting. <laughs> you eat raw carrots? Raw carrots is good. It's it's your, it's no, I mean, I mean, taste, 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 taste that boy. You like pot roast or something, man. Right. Yeah, if it's in there, it's cool. Yeah. I mean, I, like I said, I know people. So my mama, she used to sit up there eat like veg, vegetables, like raw, like that. Just like it tastes good to her. I, you know, I'm you disgusting. Sure you used to eat the carrots with the peanut butter. No, uh, no, nah. Nah, nah. I fucked with it. Yeah, it's <laughs> <laughs> I fucked with a bunch of shit, too. A bunch of weird shit. That's the only way you can do it. Did y'all eat cucumbers? No, no, pause. No, shit. No. Pause. No. Nah, I 
Ed Beardsville. Shit. Hey, you said though you don't do pause no more. You know what I mean, right? Nah, you said it really had to be a play. <laughs> I don't, I don't fuck with cucumbers, B. No, no, sir. No, sir. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now you want to implement Paul. Now you want to implement Paul. Right? <laughs> now now I'm, I'm, I'm just laughing because we know whatever, man. This is funny. Tracy, he's fucking cucumber. I continue. Uh, <laughs> oh, shit. You, know, you really don't like mm-hmm. carrots, huh? No. Yeah. A side of peas and carrots take on peas the side. Now, what I, on some weird shit, I'm, I don't know what the combination is about uh, carrots and raisins. I like carrots and raisins. You know, that's, almost, that's, that's almost as odd as carrots and peanuts. <laughs> <laughs> they put carrots and raisins. They put that together. They put it in a salad. Like, oh, you're talking about the salad. In the <laughs> salad? But you, you but I can eat it just carrots and raisins. Yeah. Matter of fact, nah, that's the only how I can eat a carrot. I need that. I need something sweet, man. Carrots is fucking well, nasty. Watch it. Watch it. Yeah, tight yeah. rope thing. Watch <laughs> it. <laughs> nah, man. Oh, man. That's the only how I can eat carrots just like raw. Like, you know what I'm saying? Everybody got different tastes. If you like carrots, yeah. <laughs> carrots. Nah, carrots is cool. I don't, I don't like peas. That shit. I, peas. I just saw you eat sweet peas. You don't like sweet peas. I just peas? saw you kill some peas. You was crazy, going crazy on that. Shit. It's, no, but it's at this point. It's like what we doing right now. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm forcing it. I know yeah, I, I was. It, right? I was doing that uh, a couple of times. Because I won't eat no Oh, uh, This guy. Uh, well, no, <laughs> if that was the only side that was cooked, I was like, all right, man. You gonna eat peas? I eat a little. bit. I eat it, but it's begrudgingly because it's nasty. Yeah, peas are nasty. You just get down. <laughs> I mean, I'm telling you, we, you know, we on our big healthy shit. I know how to just. But I ain't going to buy no peas, peas and cook them now. Nah. nah. You actually bought peas. I got to force myself. Oh, I'm, I sticking, will with, eat I'm sticking with broccoli till I get tired of it, man. That's the one. That's my go to, broccoli. Now, is it just the uh, the stem? Is they say the, the vitamins are in the stem. Truth to that or no? The vitamins. Because I never eat the stem. stem? Hmm? Cause when if you get the the frozen bag, it's the fucking frets. yeah, it's like seventy percent stems in there. No, right, that's what I'm saying. Like, oh, I didn't know that. I, I never eat the stem. I you know. I figured that wasn't. Well, I guess that would not That's the part that's you? in the dirt, right? Yeah, I ate all this. Hmm? What was that? What's that's the part that's in, in, the in the dirt? I guess. <laughs> I guess the nutrients is in there. So what is the crazy? You know what? Dre just brought up something like yeah. So carrot. Oh there. Mm. So excuse me. <laughs> carrots, carrots and peanut butter. What's the craziest shit y'all mix together that don't even sound like? It? <laughs> Cause carrots <laughs> and peanut butter don't sound. Like it. <laughs> well, I'm gonna take your word. Carrot, peanut, peanut butter, butter everything. With celery, you ain't never celery, had celery. I've heard celery and right. peanut butter. Peanut butter go with everything though. Yeah, I, 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 I eat apples and peanut butter. That's, 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 that's normal. normal. Yeah, that's I, normal. I, I'll, I'll go first. I. Dude, y'all gonna think it's crazy. <laughs> to this day, I've been doing this since I was like six years old. I will put French dressing and spaghetti. Yeah, I know, I know that's crazy. Yeah, I, mean, I know that's pretty. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ruining spaghetti. Yeah. Hey, but that's something. I don't oh, you know. mean like a little drizzle or? Uh, you know. I'm or like, you use that instead of prego. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, that's a different story. No, nah, <laughs> like it. Like, or you just mix it in. No, nah, I, I, I had someone make spaghetti. I don't like barbecue spaghetti, by the way. That shit <laughs> whack. Barbecue spaghetti, by the way, is that shit. They just water and noodles, and they's like, yo, this the only side. <laughs> I, I whipped it up. Right? Yeah, I whipped it up. Like, Auntie, I don't want this shit. You know what I'm saying? But no, nah, like, it'll be lasagna or spaghetti. I, don't, I know I'm disrespecting, but. I put French dressing. That shit. That shit raw. So I ain't expecting y'all to like say, "Yo, like I've done this." But I'm going to try it. though. Like yo, I'm an adventurous eater. Yeah, I see. I it's got to be something, that y'all. So y'all just eat everything normal. There's a lot of stuff I, I don't eat. Go, so yeah, you a picky eater. Sound like like 
You just eat chicken nuggets and fries. <laughs> <laughs> Palate is fucking. Depending on what it is, I I try anything once. Depending on what it is, no, well, I mean as far as like you know, I don't need no pork or no shit like that. Mm. Mm. Speak on that. I've tried snail. Ooh. Mm. How was that? Yeah. Shrimp. I wouldn't eat it again. <laughs> okay. I wouldn't eat that again. Fuck. Just... Have you had deer? Yes. I, I like deer. Deer is pretty good. Deer is good. Deer is good. Is it like a smoky never... texture? It does have a. It has a game. Taste. It has a gamey taste. Yeah. Depends on how you cook it too, though. Hmm. Yeah. You can tell it's not regular ground beef or something. Right. It tastes different. Especially uh, the venison side of it. I like that. Mm-hmm. Jerky. Okay. Yeah. Wait a minute. Hold up. Y'all ain't gonna get off the hook. So I'm the only goofball that fucking eats <laughs> something weird, yo. Oh. <clears throat> I'm trying to think. I mean, Dre already told us carrots and peas. <laughs> it ain't as bad as I can't think off top, man. I'll, I'll, I'll put a slice of pineapple on a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Hmm. That is weird. Yeah, that's kind of I eat that's peanut butter and jelly with bananas on it, too, but that's pretty normal. That's, nah, I, I, do, do, I do that. I don't do that, but that pineapple, that's weird. Yeah, I yeah, like that's... pineapple on there. Fresh pineapple, not out the can. So you put pineapple in, on, in the sandwich? Yeah. That's weird. It's good. You should try it. Hmm. That, that's weird. <laughs> I don't eat PBJ, though, a lot. So. No, I, but I kind of see that, though. I don't even need the jelly though. So you like pineapples, pineapples in your pizza? Yeah. Hawaiian pineapple. Wow. Y'all like pineapple in pizza? Pineapple is not my pizza, dude. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> nah. I'm you good. can put anything in pizza, man. Oh, you can? Yeah. Oh, no, no, you can't. I've seen the weirdest shit. I've seen M&M's. I've seen all types oh, of weird stuff. And you eat that? Yeah. M&M's. Yeah. 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 I'm not eating that. I'm just saying. 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 I'm just i definitely do a Hawaiian piece of wood. Yeah. You would do pineapple? I'm not doing pineapple. I've had pineapple. Bacon. That shit whack. Where'd you get it from, though? It don't matter. It was pineapple in there. I looked at this shit like... You get it from Papa John's or some shit. Of course it's going to be trash. Dude. You get it from a like actual pizza combination spot. of a pineapple Pineapple and pizza, pizza is, don't is, belong. It's a great mix. Yeah. No, it don't. Not my... I mean... Me. Yeah, I mean... I, I said for yeah, me. I'm about to say, so that's who? Like, that's I said for me. I just said for me. Yeah, I, I like it. I fuck with it. You fuck with pineapple? Dre, you fuck with pineapple? Not on pizza. No, I'm not a fan of pizza. But, not a fan. <laughs> but I know a lot of people that, you know, say the same thing. Like, like who did you, you put strawberries on your pizza, too? Nah. Oh, okay. Now you're the line. Oh, now I'm crossing the line. <laughs> it's it's line fruit, man. <laughs> Tropical fruit. We can't do strawberries. Well, pineapple got the citrus. Oh, That's okay. Kind of yeah, so we can put oranges in there. <laughs> <laughs> no. We can't have uh, oranges. Yeah. I'm saying. He just said citrus. Oranges, <laughs> lemons. No, he can't. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Uh, what about mac and cheese on a pizza? I've seen that. They I've seen that. They, 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 they got a place in the city that do that. I've seen that. They put Italian beef on there. That's I've had that shit. Italian yeah. beef with the peppers and shit. That's why. Yeah. Yeah. I'll do it for you. No. I yeah, try some pineapple, man. I've tried it. I don't yeah, know. Like, oh, well, I'll try it. I've never done the, the PBJ, though. No, it ain't about the spot. I just don't like pineapples in my pizza, though. Okay. I say it's about 50 50. Yeah. I know a lot of people that don't like it. That know, ain't so. my go to every time I get it. Sounds pizza. like it is. Because nah. you, do, you do it in PBJ and you do it in pizza. Well, I, it's not that often I, have fr- I buy a fresh pineapple and cut it up. But if I just happen to have one, I'll, I'll probably do it. So you're lazy. <laughs> Pineapple got to be in season, man. Oh, so you know about the seasons. <laughs> Summer <laughs> is when you buy a fruit. <laughs> you buy a watermelon now, it ain't going to taste that good. I mean, if you, you really <laughs> compared like... compared to June. If you really like... So you water- get an almond egg with it, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> you just know they're from buying them. Oh, okay. You know how to buy pineapple. So how do you buy pineapple? What do you do? You feel on it? You want, what else? Uh, I think, I think you want the stem to be green. Wow. Mm. Listen to this, sports life and hip-hop. When you get grapes, you should, the stem should be green. shouldn't be brown. Oh, yeah. We got a like we got a beef between that. He like green grapes. I like grapes. Those are the best grapes. Seedless and, or seeds? Seedless. 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 Always. Seedless. Always. You can't go seedless. My mom they, buys the they grapes with the, the seeds. The seed gives you this, the nutrients in the seeds when you eat them. 
Uh, I can't eat them. <laughs> All right. That's the, hey, but from a taste standpoint, from a taste standpoint, which I will um, red, red or green? I'm going to have to go green. Mm. I'm I think I gotta go green. Y'all, I think I gotta go. They be, they be sweeter than the than the red joints. Do they? Y'all don't want to pick them. I pick think the them, red must be sweeter, but I, I like I like a firmer grape. <laughs> 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 the red grapes be kind of mushy sometimes. You don't know how to pick them, man. Well, maybe that's true. Put this away. I don't dislike if it's a bowl of red grapes. I'm not gonna push them to the side. I eat them. Right. I, yeah. I'm buying green though. Most of the, nine, ninety percent of the time, I'm buying green. My problem. Put it this way. My success rate is high with green. Yeah, that's what I it is. Like, don't get me wrong. I fuck with the reds, but I've had green is a uh, is a the the the. the, the um, the probability of me uh, being in, uh, in a high moment. <laughs> the probability of me being uh, uh, satisfied after you eat a bowl of green grapes to the red grapes. Yeah. <laughs> green grapes is killing it. Mm-hmm. So pineapple in your pizza, you really enjoy. Right. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> I was just thinking about the PBJ. Yeah, that's crazy right there. Yeah, pineapple on it, yeah. But you don't have nothing, though. You eat everything regular. Your life is, you just eat everything. What you mean, like right now? Or you mean yeah, I'm asking you. Know, like, what, have, what have you done that is that lame? I just can't think of anything off top, man. I, Cobbs, is that, the, is that the weirdest thing? The carrot and the peanut butter? Yeah. That's mm-hmm. probably it. Yeah. Well, if someone gave you a pork rind, that definitely would <laughs> <probably be. laughs> yeah, be getting smacked upside yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Now, that's <laughs> I'm bringing those swine over there. So you've never <laughs> eaten pork? Or yeah, so, yeah, of course. I've never eaten pork. My mother's from the South. I mean, oh, right, yeah, right, that's right. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I enjoy yeah. plenty of smothered pork chops. Oh, okay. Then <laughs> <laughs> he, he, he read up. Oh, uh, like, uh, yeah. okay. He read up. Funny story about that, man, about fucking the pork, man. So our friend Saeed, you know Saeed, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, um, I call him Pope. That's my man, Pope. Um, so <clears throat> one day we were sitting here. We, 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 he told, he gives me no. He tells me go get him some chips or whatever. Yeah. I'm on lunch. He ain't. So I man, give him some chips or whatever. So you know I bring him, give him the chips and everything. We talking and shit. <laughs> then he just stops, right? And he says, "What kind of chips are these?" They fucking the baked potato, uh, bacon and bacon and cheddar. Two GI Friday joints. He says, Joe, what did you buy me? <laughs> I said, oh shit, man. I feel like shit. Like, I made the guy eat some more bacon. That's not bacon. real bacon in there, is it? It's bacon. Even it's close flavor, enough. You know, just the flavor. Oh, wow. That probably made him sick. Because he probably <laughs> never ate it. Now it just probably made him sick. Hey, Pope, man, I apologize, my nigga. He went, he went to the bathroom, spit and shit. Oh, wow. He get this shit out of here. He was never scratching his tongue. I can't get rid of swine yet. I mean, if I was if I was on my 5% like Dre over here, yeah. then maybe I'd give it up. But I haven't got, I, I want to get rid of it, definitely. That's the plan, but I haven't gotten rid of it. Question, do you allow it in your house at all? Yes. I mean, wow. my wife, you my, just, you my just don't eat it. No, oh, your wife, you okay? Uh, I don't fuck with it. I try not to give it to my son, but she she gives it to me. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so oh, damn okay. good. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. 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 Yeah. As a shorty, uh, Coke and Coke and pork rinds, man. Like pop, any pop and pork, pork rinds was like the ones when the ones that had the little bag of hot sauce you could pour. It. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah, they got a little bag of hot sauce. Really. I remember that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You know hot sauce and pork rinds. Yes, sir. I used to eat that between like when you you know as a kid. And you be outside hooping and we'll be like, you just had a pork rinds to refuel. <laughs> that was your, por- your post-game meeting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Some really pork rinds. <laughs> pork rinds and, 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 a, and a Tahitian treat. Oh, I'm, I'm a little more of a flaming Hot guy, salt, salt and sour, shit like that, Cheetos. Flaming House was good. I don't like to go with pork rinds. <laughs> 
Remember that hey, time you gave, me, you, that time you gave me some pork rinds at, <laughs> at the crib? And I was like, oh, you put them in a bowl. <laughs> no, me that was real. Oh, yeah, that was yeah, real. You made me feel comfortable. He's <laughs> like, oh, man, my man, yeah, let me give you some pork rinds. That's why I put a delicacy in the whole bowl. I, was, I felt at home. I said, man, good looking out. I think I had like three of them, man. <laughs> man he, and Joe's voice made me feel comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I, I know you were comfortable with it. Bowl full of pork. It's bread. all about comfort level. <laughs> True. <laughs> so it's all about your comfort level. Yeah. It's, 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 it's everything, man. What, what's why, what in life do you want to do when you're uncomfortable? <laughs> it's, yeah, it's yes, I'm all about the comfort. It's all about comfort. Make money comfortable. Yeah, it's, it's not like you want to do uncomfortable. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> y'all ain't got anything else, man. On that note, <laughs> good old comfort. <laughs> <laughs> oh nah, man. Once again, man. Dope ass show as always, man. Especially what happened with the, the addition of, of our return guest, Drake Cobbs. You know what I'm saying? Don't don't be a stranger. Make sure you come on back. You know what I'm yes, saying? Yes, man. Appreciate y'all having me, man. Show, man. It's a good building with y'all brothers, man. What's the latest? What's on the music, man? I need to cut you off my phone. It's coming, man. You know, with working and shit, man. You know, I ain't had time to really hit the studio, but you know, I'm writing my shit out. So I got like uh, maybe six songs written out. Mm. Just gotta go record them, man. That's about it. But I'm, I'm getting my shit ready. It's gonna be uh, same hot bars, flow done got better. You mm. know, I've been you know practicing my shit in the crib, delivery wise and. Man, I'm ready. Yo, you said something to me in a conversation <clears throat> the other day that that like like was so dope because it's not admitted, you know what I'm saying, in, in hip hop. Like remember we was talking um and you was like I was like, man, what's up with the pen? I was like, what's up with the pen? You said, you know I'm moving. You said I'm perfecting my craft though. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? I'm yeah. getting you they'll tell me you were you you barred up yeah, was, rapping every was, day you going hard. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, every day, and I'm, I've been working on my beat game too, man. Oh, so, real? Uh, when I drop this project, I'm gonna have some shit that I produce myself. So, that's yeah, that's good, that's good, that's good. Yeah, man, I know motherfuckers ain't seen me around, but that's what I've been doing, man. Just you know, working on the craft, working on the music, on In the, the back cave. You know, <laughs> yeah, you know, being the father, you know, Dude. working, all that. You know, respect. You already know what I said. Don't be a stranger. Come back to the show when you got the new joint. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? But as usual, you got the usual crew. You got the one and only Zeke. And like, it's backwards, right? Um, you got my main man, Zeke. You got the one and only Ricky. Yeah? <laughs> 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 all, right. all right, all right, all right. Don't no, quit boys. <laughs> as usual, you got my man, Zeke. You got the one and only Ricky Swain. And I'm Channel 7. Peace. <laughs> Did I put too much on it? A little bit. You got a little sauce on it, so it's cool. That's right. That's true. That's right. That's right. That's right. I gotta take them off of here. But there's only one, and that's me. You understand? Just like we come through. Better have your fucking third out. Bad enough, nigga. I don't want nobody sound like nobody from my clan, man. Keep it real, get your own shit, man, and be original. You can't imitate me on this fucking tape. You ain't ringing the bell. You ain't. I'm ready when you are.